silence or cell phones. Refreshments are available at intermission to help support the HFL Journal Club. Enjoy the show!
You're getting big enough now to have something besides just milk. Here, try this bowl of cornmeal mush and honey. No longer was Wilbur a root. He was growing each day. He was becoming quite a specimen of a pig. <laughs> I chalk it up to good, clean living. Super time, Wilbur. And to good, fattening food. All right, pig. It's time you graduated to slops. Here we've got uh, skim milk. Skim milk? Leftover sandwiches. Leftover sandwiches. Potato skins. Potato skins. And marmalade drippings. And marmalade drippings. Before long, Wilbur was five weeks old. I'd say it's about time for a birthday party. He was big. Now let them call me a runt. And strong. Anyone for arm wrestling? And healthy. Check out the pink in my cheeks. And he was ready to be sold. <laughs> for a pretty fair price, I didn't really tell. What? Sold? No. No, Papa, you can't sell him. You just can't. Sir, I can't provide for him any longer. He's eating too much. I've already sold his ten brothers and sisters. Oh, Wilbur, Wilbur. Listen, everybody, I have an idea. Why don't we call up the Zuckermans? Your Uncle Homer sometimes raises a pig, and if Wilbur goes down there to live, you can visit him anytime you'd like. Oh, yes, please, Papa! Hmm, that's not a bad idea, Martha. Come on, we'll call Uncle Homer right now. Can Wilbur come too? I don't see why not. Maybe he can make the phone call himself. It's <laughs> not funny. He can talk, you know. Oh, Fern, what an imagination. Yeah, heard about me? 
We overheard the Zuckermans discussing you. They plan to keep you nice and comfortable and fill you up with delicious slops. Oh, I am gonna like it here. Just the same, we don't envy you. You know why they want to make you back in Kendra, don't you? No, I don't. Now, 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 old chief. He'll learn soon enough. What? I'll learn what? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. Lamb, mind your manners. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. My pleasure, I'm sure. Well, I have eggs to hatch. I have trash pals to read. Could you go to the night, Wilbur, for eggs and some rest after a long day? Yes, thank you, I will. The animals seem nice, I think, but I'm not so sure about Templeton. And I'm a bit concerned about the old sheep's remark. You know why they want to make you fat and tender, don't you? Well, I don't know. And the old sheep didn't tell me. Hmm, I really shouldn't worry about it right now. I'm much too Oh no, it's morning already, and it's raining. In my dreams I made such grand plans for today. Let's see. 6.30. Breakfast. 7 o'clock. A nap indoors. 8 o'clock. A nap outdoors. In the sun. 9 o'clock. Dig a hole. 10 o'clock. Fill up the hole. 11 o'clock. Just stand still and watch the flies and bees and swallows. 12 noon. Lunch. 1 o'clock. Sleep. 2 o'clock. Scratch the keepers by rubbing against the fence. 3 o'clock. A visit from firm. 4 o'clock. Supper. And 4.30 on. Free, Free time. time! Right. I get everything all beautifully planned out, and it has to go in rain. I'm lonesome, and I know firm won't come in such lousy weather. Honestly. I'm less than two months old, and I'm already tired of living. <sighs> Morning, Vic. Got some nice slops for you today. Good fit for a pig. What's wrong? Don't you want breakfast? Oh, we might have a sick pig here. Mr. Zuckerman, come to the barn. It does look delicious. But I don't want food. I want a friend. I want someone who will play with me. Do you want a friend, Wilbur? I'll be your friend. I watched you all night, and I like you. Where are you? <laughs> who are you? Now, I won't like this medicine, Lurby. So you and the guy, and I'll feed it to him. Come on now, boy, the soap and molasses. It'll cure what ails you. Blah! <laughs> Uh, I think I'll give you one more dose. Just for good measure. Oh, we don't learn you. Oh, right there, Lurby. They speak with well and bad time. Come on, we're up to you. Will the party who just spoke to me please make themselves known? Please tell me where you are if you are, my friend. Salutations! Oh, hi! What are salutations? They're a fancy way of saying hello. Oh, well, salutations to you, too. What's your name? My name is Charlotte. Charlotte what? Charlotte A. Kibajika. I'm a spider! I think you're beautiful. Thank you. And your web is beautiful, too. Thanks! It's my home. I know it looks fragile, but it's really very strong. It protects me. And I try my food in it. I'm so happy you'll be my friend. In fact, it restores my appetite. Will you join me? No thanks. I have breakfast waiting for me on the other side of my web. Oh, what are you having? A fly I caught this morning. You eat flies? And bugs. Actually, I drink your blood. <laughs> Besides, if I 
can eat flies and bugs, then it should be so many they'd overcome the entire world. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go have my breakfast. I've got a new friend all right. It's Charlotte. Brutal. <laughs> and bloodthirsty. How can I learn to like her, even though she's very pretty and clever?
That's it. To save Wilbur is to play a trick on Zephyr. If I can fool a bug, I can surely fool a man. Bugs are much farther than men. That's it. This will not be easy, but it must be done. First, I will tear apart the center of my web and write my string. String spinnerets spin out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Add a girl, add the line, attach, be, and finished. The message was fun. I've come to the end. The job that I've done is all for my friend. So, okay. Not bad old girl for the first time around, but it was quite exhausting. I better catch a little nap before daybreak. No, no, please, please stop. Oh, oh my goodness. That, that was a terrible dream. There were men with guns and knives coming out here to, to take me away. Morning, Peg. Got some breakfast for you today. Let's see. Have a French toast, leftover pancakes, some donuts. Absolutely delicious. Whoa! My eyes must deceive me. That can't be right. Mr. Zuckerman, Mr. Come out to the barn. <clears throat> what did he see? There's nothing here but me. Me. He saw me. He saw that I'm big and healthy and I'm ready to be made into ham. They're coming out here right now with guns and knives. They just know it. What can I do? Wait, that, that's the fence that Lurvy patched up. Maybe it's loose again. I've got to get up. It's either freedom or frying pan. But first, a little sustenance. All right, now I'm ready. I'm breaking out of this prison. They'll never take me alive. George! What was that? Wilbur? Wilbur, where are you? I'm brave! Now, Larry, what can be so important that you just drag me out of here? You'll see, Mr. Zuckerman, you see? All I can see is the pig's not here. What? Look over to the fence. He must have escaped to where the chickens are. He's out there now. We better hurry. But Mr. Zuckerman, the time is going to go. Oh, no. Plus, this racket is killing my ears. There's so much noise, noise, noise. The gods can't sleep. Go, Wilbur, go! No, stop this! Don't encourage him! Even if he does escape, he'll never survive in the outside world. If he comes through again, they have to stop him. I'll make it this time. I saw an open gate that leads to the woods. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Get it out! Hey! Well, 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 I won't do it down without a fight. I'll struggle all the way to the butcher block. I, I won't be begging for, for anybody. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Whoa, well, Pig. Certainly gave us a run for our. Mr. Zuckerman, look up at the web. It was what I was trying to tell you earlier. A miracle has happened on this farm. A miracle? I don't believe it. Some pig. Well, it's clear we got no ordinary pig. Seems to me we have no ordinary spider. No, it is. It's this pig that's unusual. Go call the minister, and then the air will hurry. You know, Larry, always said that this pig of ours is a good one. He's a terrific pig. You know, someone might say he's some pig. <laughs> Come on, we got work to do. There will be a lot of visitors once more this sneaks out. Charlotte, Charlotte, you've done it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it seems to have worked for the present. But if we were to say what we're slight, I'm going to need new words. Any suggestions? How about pig supreme? No good, it sounds too much like a good dessert. How about terrific, terrific, terrific? Cut that down if you're terrific, you'll do quite nicely. Does anybody here know how to spell the word terrific? Hmm, I think it's T double E double I double R double F double E double C C C. What kind of acrobat do you think I am? Um, Templeton only helps himself. <laughs> What's up? Did you see the message in the web? Yeah, it was there when I went out this morning. 
No baby. It was a big kid of suction. And now Charlotte needs new ideas. When you go to the dog, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte can copy the words. It will help save Wilbur's life. Oh. This meeting's adjourned. Tonight I'll tear from my web again and write the new word. Now, Wilbur, can you go out and this on for a bit? I was up all night and I simply must have some rest. Sure, Charlotte. Thank you. You're the best friend a pig ever had. So big. So big. As the days went on, the news about Charlotte's web began to spread throughout the county. People came from miles around to see the words on Charlotte's web. News of the wonderful pet spread clear into the hills where the farmers talked about the miraculous animals on the Zuckerman farm. Charlotte knew there'd be even more visitors the next day. So that night, while the, uh, while the other animals slept, she began to work on the web. Swings to the right, slid out the thread, the longer it gets, the better it's way. Spinning and weaving, she began to form the new letters. Again, she talked to herself as though to cheer herself on. A tag, the apple line, and a girl, now for the other. On through the night, a spider worked at her difficult task. It was nearly morning when she finally finished. The message is fun. I've come to the end. The job that I've done is all for my friend. After that, she, saved, she ate a small bug she had been saving, and then she fell asleep. I can't believe I spent the entire day and night outside sleeping. Oh well, it was very refreshing. Okay, I know it's, it just can't happen again. It can't! It surely can't. Huh? Look at this! It, it happened! Terrific! It's clear as day! Mr. Zuckerman, come out to the barn! It's beautiful. I can face anything with friends like you guys. 
Friendship is one of the most rewarding things in the world. You'd better believe it, Buster. And you'd better not forget the friendship of Templeton, who just happened to be at the dump all night looking for words to save you. Here's your work. With new radiant action. Hmm. Four. Run around a little bit. Let me see you in action and see if you're radiant. And I want to leave my eggs here in the 
an armory where it's warm and safe. But I'll take the risk. And we'll go to the fair and help Wilbur. People will be expecting to see a new work in the web. Its entire future, if he's not have a future at all, entirely depends on what happens at that fair. <laughs> Radiant.
Hi there. Hello. May I have your name? No name, just call me Uncle. Very well, Uncle? You're rather large. Are you a spring pig? Of course I'm a spring pig. What do you think I was? Spring chicken? Oh, 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 So long, sister. Oh, hi, Charlotte. Hey, where is everybody? They're out to see the bear. Did I hear you talking to someone? Just a pig who's staying next door. Is he bigger than me? I mean, is he bigger? I mean, he is much bigger. Oh, no. But he has the most insufferable personality. Oh, sure, it would be hard for you to be on kind of a size, but together we can make it happen. When will you be ready in the new world? Later on today, when last year's tired. Just make this new web world into a lot of my strength. Well, here's a good looking fellow. Diamond's famous pig. Look at his white silky coat and his nice curly tail. I think he's the finest pig we've seen all day. Is it something for me? <laughs> no, it's only for me for a change. 
Please tell me what it is. I'll show you in the morning. <laughs> Even if I don't win the blue ribbon, and in the worst happens, I'll never forget you, Charlotte. It's very sweet. I'm going to sleep well. Good night. Good night. Before long, Wilbur was asleep. Charlotte could tell by the sound of, it, sound of his breathing that he was sleeping peacefully in the shop. By now, the fair was quiet and the duty were gone. It was a good time for Charlotte to work. Though she was very tired, she worked quickly, for yet she had another job to do. Before long, she finished writing in the web. After she had finished the work in the web, she moved on to another project. It carried her far into the night. When she was finally finished, she was exhausted, and she fell into a deep, deep sleep. The light of the next morning revealed the word in Charlotte's web. It was very early when the judges came around to determine the winner of the blue ribbon. The blazing orange sun slowly began to rise on the most important day of Wilbur's life. Oh, look, there's some work. Charlotte, Charlotte, you've done it again. Oh, it fits you perfectly. Hey, hey, what's that object up there? It's my headset. Did you make it? I did indeed. What's inside? Eggs? 514 of them. You're kidding. Are you really going to have 514 children? If nothing happens to them, yes. Of, of course, they would arrive until next spring. You don't seem very happy about this, Charlotte. I guess I feel sad because I won't ever get to meet my children. Of course you will. We'll all meet them. But I don't feel good at all. I threw my eggs on and not be able to make it back to the barn. Charlotte, don't say that. Now, this is your big day to stay with. I'm sure you win. What a night! Oh, what a night! Oh, I must have eaten the remains of 30 lunches. It was a real gorge. It was rich, my friends, rich. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You probably had an attack of acute digestion or something. Don't worry about me. Whoever's the one you should be worrying about. What do you mean? Oh, boy, I've got some bad news for you. As I was walking past the thing next door, the one that calls himself Uncle, I noticed a blue ribbon on the front of his pen. That means he won first prize. Oh, no. Wait till Zuckerman gets angry for some bacon and ham. I'll take the knife to you, my boy. He's still Templeton! Don't pay any attention, Wilbur. And then he's so scared he's gonna faint again! <laughs> no. No, I'm not. Whatever will happen, will happen. I may not live as long as I'd like, but I've lived very well. A good life is much more important than just having a long life. So starting now, I'm going to stop worrying about myself. There are more important things than just thinking about yourself all the time. <coughs> like you, Templeton. <laughs> you didn't even notice that Charlotte has made an egg sack. Exactly. Right up there. She's going to be mother. For your information, there are 514 eggs in that chill sack. Yeah, if I can see something before the eggs, it's like, well, congratulations! Oh my god! <laughs> this has been a night. <laughs>
Be sure to win that blue ribbon now. Oh no! What is it, Avery? That pick over there has already won first prize. Already? It's not fair. It just says he's fat. I bet the judges are fat too. And what's everyone here crying for? Eat it? Give this big and third with his buttermilk back. Then we're still going to learn from mine to you. And we'll train them to well. Let's get busy. That's your spirit, Homer. I'll go fetch you the slots. I'll help with the bath, Eda. Fern, why don't you and Avery help tidy up the area? Homer, I think our signings will get a little more prominent. What's the problem with you? I mean, it's easy to see. More, more noticeable. You're often very prominent yourself, Avery. Attention, please. Attention, please. We would like to ask that as many of you as possible to assemble in the livestock area where we are about to present a special award. A special award? It must be for the cows and horses. When you arrive at the livestock area, please go to the section where the pigs are located. Looks like somebody's giving another award. I'll bet, it, I'll bet it's that fat pig over there. We will ask you to report directly to the pig owned by Mr. Homer's Duck. The pig? Owned by Mr. Homer. Yahoo! Yes! yes. Congratulations! Now, don't have to lose, everyone. I'll go fetch his head. I'll get rid of the slop, okay? Homer, does my hair look all right? Looks fine, Ada. You didn't even look at my hair! It's okay, Ada. Just keep calm. I finished the bath, we'll take us back to the Good morning. Good morning. Is this the supplement today? Sure is. There he is. That's the thing you've been hearing about. Zuckerman's famous pig! That's him! He isn't as big as the pig next door, but he's coming there. That's what I like. So do I. Yes, sir. Mighty fine pig you got there, folks. Thank you. Excuse me coming through. Let's open up, please. Thank you very much. Zuckerman? Right here. Pleased to meet you. You as well. Those of you who can't get in close, don't worry. You'll hear everything you need to hear. Casting, casting, can everybody hear me? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present Mr. Homer L. Zuckerman's distinguished pig. Many of you will recall when the writing first appeared mysteriously on the spotter's web in Mr. Zuckerman's barn, calling the attention of all to the fact that this was some pig. Then came the word terrific, and he is, look at him, it's the buttermilk. <laughs> then came the word radiant, and finally today, the word humble. Whence came this mysterious writing? This miracle has never been fully explained. We simply know that we are dealing with supernatural forces here, and that we should all feel proud and grateful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I must not take any more of your valuable time. On behalf of the governors of the fair, I take the honor of awarding a special prize of $25 for Mr. Zuckerman and this handsome silver medal, which far outshines any blue ribbon, to this radiant, this terrific, this humble pig. He's all right. He gets these spells sometimes. At some point, he can't say grace. Well, we can't give a prize to a dead pig. It's never been done before. He's a dead. He's fainted. Run for some water, Lurgy. Hey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if I might have your attention for the official awarding of the prizes. Here's $25 for Mr. Zuckerman and a silver medal for the star attraction of our county fair. What ails you, Lurby Gates? He's all right. You asked for what? I didn't ask for a shower bath. And now, folks, if you'll proceed onto the grandstand, you'll be just in time for the first key of today's harness races. Thank you, one and all, for your presence at this historic award ceremony. Excuse me, coming through. I got a call the first race. Look at Wilbur and his new medal. Ride your canoe, you boy. Mother, may I have a dollar? It's my turn to take Henry on the Ferris wheel. Thanks. Henry Fussy, imagine that! I guess it's time to start thinking about blowing up. Look, we have a jiffy, Wilbur. I think this calls for a celebration. Why don't we take one last look around the midway? Sounds good. Let's go. 
Where's that medal with pride, boy? I'm sorry, Wilbur. I was in such a hurry to meet Henry, I forgot to tell you how proud I am of you. I mean, from the very first day that you were some pig. Henry, wait for me. Let's go for a ride on the Ferris wheel. Charlotte. Charlotte? Are, are, are you all right? Yes. A little tired, perhaps, but I feel peaceful. Now that I'm going to be all right. Charlotte, why did you do all this? I've never done anything for you. You've been my friend. That in itself is enough. Besides, what's my life? We're born, we live a little, we die. Perhaps by hoping you, I was lifting my life up a trifle. Heaven knows we could all use a little of that. You've saved me, Charlotte. I'd gladly give my life for yours. So I really would. I'm sure you would. Hey, we're all going back to the barn today. Wouldn't it be great to be back home? I'm not going back to the barn, Wilbur. Not going back? What do you mean? I'm done for. They're damned to. I won't be dead. Charlotte. I can't even crawl up to some accent. Charlotte, my true friend. Come now, Wilbur. Don't make a scene. I, I, I won't leave you alone to die. I'll stay too. You can't. They won't let you. Besides, even if you did stay, there'll be no one left to feed you. The sparrows will be deserted. I have an idea. Templeton, Templeton, wake up. Pay attention. Can't a rat catch a wake up so you? Listen to me. Charlotte is very ill, and she won't be coming back to the barn. But I've got to take her eggs out with me. I can't reach it, and I can't climb. Please. Please, Templeton, go up and get her eggs out. What am I, rat of all work? Hurry, Templeton, they'll, they'll be packed soon. Templeton, I'll make you a deal. If you do this for me, I'll give you first pick with Larry Sauce. You get first choice of everything in the trunk. Promise? Cross my hands. All right, it's a deal. Use extreme care. I don't want a single one of those eggs harmed. Charlotte, I'll protect it with my life. Thank you, Templeton. Now you better run back to the truck, and I don't want to run back to the barn. You better go on back. Now that I get first choice of everything in the truck. Oh, Charlotte. Sure. Edith, load up the pickup. We'll get Wilbur's great ready. John, you friend and Avery head out to the truck. I'll be there in a moment. Well, it turned out to be mighty fun fair. Mighty fun? Best fair I've ever been to. Let's go, Wilbur. This will be a day for Joe and grandkids about. Wilbur hasn't eaten anything in these past few days. He keeps waiting out 
the yard for the eggs to hatch. Trembleton, you would live longer if you ate less. Who wants to live forever? You, you, you tell him. No, no, no. You do the honors. Fine. I am pleased to announce that the goose and I are expecting to have gods. Again? Must be spring. Everything's sprouting. Including your stomach. <laughs> They're here, they're here, they're here. Who's here? The spiders, they hatch. All 514 of them, look. They seem to be climbing up, up, up the rafters. Yep, they're going up to where the breezes are flowing. <laughs> look, they're, they're floating away on little clouds of silk. Wait, no! Don't go. Please, won't you please stay? They're all leaving. Happens every time. No, please. Stop, come back! I'm glad they hatched, but I wish they'd stay. Some of them, anyway. I'm being deserted by Charlotte's children. They didn't they are over. You have to live their own lives, you know. I know, but I was just hoping. Never mind. Salutations! Who said that? Me, I'm over here. And I'm over here. And I'm over here. Three of us are saying, we like this place, and we like you. Oh, the this is wonderful, wonderful. What are your names? Excuse me, are you trembling? Yes, trembling with joy. Then my name is Joy. What was my mother's middle initial? A. Then my name is Arania. I need a name, too. Pick one out for me. Not too fancy, but not too dumb. Hmm. How about... Nelly. Fine, I like that very much. Joy, Arania, and Nelly. Welcome to your new home. Thank you, thank you very much. Where did you get that handsome medal you're wearing? It's a long story, and I promise I'll tell you all about it. But right now, I'm going to take the medal off. In honor of this very special day, I'm putting this medal where it rightfully belongs. Templeton, please hang it on that nail where Charlotte's web used to be. Oh! <laughs> Another favor? This is the last one, I promise. Oh! Gosh, until the next one. Who's a good friend and a good writer. But Charlotte, Charlotte was both. <laughs> 